everybody, Fred Lehman here, USPTA Pro, Director of Operations at the Windermere Club. We're out at the beautiful Windermere Tennis Academy, Tennis Complex. We have indoor and outdoor courts here. Obviously, you can see some clay courts. We're excited about this. We're starting our new YouTube channel for Fred Lehman tennis.com as well as the Windermere Tennis Academy uh, dot com YouTube channel. We're going to be doing some lessons today. We're, we're really focused on the major stroke, the, the most important shot in tennis, the serve. So we'll be introducing that to about 30 new tennis players and we're really excited. We're going to go on indoors and, and teach them how to serve. So what we're trying to do here is, uh, is learn the serve. The serve is the most important shot in tennis, and it's a critical um, aspect of your game. But the best part about the serve is you get two chances to get one in. So it, so it makes it fun, you know, because you can make a mistake on the first time, but you have to get the second one in. And you can also experiment with it, and, that, and that's how you get better. So you can hit a hard first serve and an easier second serve. My job is to get you serving right away, so, so you can play right away. If I teach you the mechanics from the ground up, it's gonna cost you a fortune and it's gonna take a lot of time. We're gonna get you playing quickly right within this lesson, within these about 12 minutes. So my first goal is to make sure that you understand the toss. And, and, and the toss comes with a couple of things. One is setting up on the court. So when I come up to the baseline to serve, I can't touch it at all. I have to stay behind the baseline. And I, and I come up to it like a, uh, I would a foul line in basketball. I look at my, my goal, you know, I dribble the ball, I get set and ready to shoot. So I do that in tennis, but I face sideways. So this toe is always pointed to one o'clock or I point it at the post. This toe is, is, is far enough back so that it's shoulders distance and I have kind of good balance and a straight line could go between my toes toward my target, which is a deuce box over there. So that's the deuce box and that's the ad box. So the, 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 the most critical part again is the toss. So I keep a straight arm, I toss with my fingertips and I, and I let it drop out in front. And how we practice this is I put my, my racket down and I, and I try to hit the head of the racket with my toss. I try to get the toss out into the court. So I toss it and I, and I try to hit that, that racket head and and, and if I keep it out in front, that means my momentum can go in front. What I don't want to do is have that toss go behind me. Okay, you, you won't be able to serve if you do that. Okay, so, so the key here is to have good balance and a good coordinated left hand. So as your coach, I'm going to give you assignment to go home and practice with your non-dominant hand how to juggle, okay? And you get that juggle down and you'll be a great tosser, all right? So now I've hit that. Now my goal is to make sure I can throw the ball into the, into the court because the throwing motion is similar to the hitting motion. So now I'm, I'm all set up and then I throw the ball and see how my hand pronates and it goes right into the box. All right, so my goal is to go ahead and throw and get a, through, a few of these in and, and okay, so I'm getting it. Now I understand. If I can throw it, I could toss it in front, and I could throw it, then I have a chance. So now I'm gonna toss the ball and throw it and still try to get it in the box, okay? So not only did I toss it and hit it, it hit the, it hit the racket, didn't it, ladies? Okay, and gentlemen. All right, good. So that's kind of the, the motion. That's kind of what we're looking for out here. We're, you know, we wanna make it really simple, really easy, and really fun, okay, to learn. Now, I pick up my racket and I gotta get my grip down. Because as you know, grips mean everything. So we start with our forehand grip, which is where the knuckles, you know, over here at semi-western, we've talked about that already. But we're gonna take it to a hammer grip, like you're holding a hammer. That's called continental, okay? So that continental grip is critical. It gives you a little slice, a little feel, all right? And this, this grip allows me to hit flat, it allows me to hit slice, and it allows me to hit top spin, okay? So for now, we're just gonna learn the flat serve. So when you make contact, it's gonna be flat, okay? And, and, and if I have a good toss, I should be able to do it from my knees, okay? Just like that, all right. 
<laughs> so let's go ahead and try to hit that ball in. And look at me once you've done it. And I will feed you another one. So you don't have to lose. Barbara. I like that one. I like the other one. I'll tell you why later. Okay, good. You, you do the grip that helps you get that ball. Okay, so here, that's a great, great question. All right, or great. What happened? If my racket is not pointed to that box or my area, five degrees of separation, that ball's going all different places. Yeah. So it's called pronation. That hand, that, that racket has to flatten out right there. So even if I have to get it, get it easy to get it in, I'd rather see you get it in than miss. So let's just start getting them in. Okay, everybody, thanks for visiting. That is the beginner tennis serve. Okay, it, it helps you get started serving right away. And, uh, and we get more technical from there. So if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Consider subscribing to it. And, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks a lot and make it a great day.